to our channel. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Michelle. I love you. I can't. You're cute. So today we're going to be sharing with you guys two St. Patrick's Day themed things. First, we're going to be showing you St. Patrick's Day deviled eggs, which are really cool and you could bring it to your St. Patrick's Day party or if you're hosting one, serve them or just make them for fun for you and your kids. We're also going to be sharing with you guys this really cool St. Patrick's Day slime which Kaden has just been loving. So if you didn't know, this is a collab with many other YouTube moms and you should definitely check out their videos to see what they made which is St. Patrick's Day themed. And if you are interested to see how we made these eggs and this slime, then just keep on watching. sharing with you guys are these green St. Patrick's Day deviled eggs which are really cool. So all you're going to need is obviously some hard boiled eggs, paprika, green food coloring, some either Miracle Whip or mayo, whatever your preference is, and a container with some water and I also forgot vinegar. So we've already boiled our hard boiled eggs just to make it a little bit faster, right? So mom is going to do this part because we have to cut the eggs, okay? So I'm just going to cut each of these hard boiled eggs in half. And now we're going to take these eggs and just like normal deviled eggs, we're going to scoop out the centers of all of them, right? Okay, so now that we have scooped out the center of all of our eggs, you're just going to be left with a bunch of white little eggshells like this, and now we want to dye them green. So here I have a container that I filled with water, and I added about a teaspoon of vinegar, and now we are going to add the green food coloring, which is going to dye it. So we're just going to add some green food coloring until you get like the darkness of green that you desire. Okay, we're going to add some green food coloring. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight nine, ten. We're gonna stir it. Whoa, that looks pretty dark green. So now you're just going to put all the eggs into the water and allow it to die. Can you put So as we're allowing these to die, we can work on the yummy center of our deviled eggs. So now we're just going to take the center of our eggs and we're gonna mash them up till they're really crumbly. So once you mash enough, it should look like this crumbly texture. And then we're going to add the mayo. So I don't actually have mayo. You can use mayo or Miracle Whip, whip dressing, whatever you prefer. This is just a little more tangy. You gotta add some Miracle Whip. So I'm gonna add what I think is a quarter cup. Okay, and we're gonna stir it all up. So now that we've taken them out, you can see we have some bright green eggs, which are perfect for St. Patrick's Day. We have to fill them with our filling. So I've just taken our egg filling and cut a little hole and just put it in a Ziploc bag just to make it super easy. And we're just going to pipe it into the center of our egg. And we're just going to take a little bit of our paprika and sprinkle it over top of every egg. And after you've done that, you've finished your green eggs for St. Patrick's Day. That look pretty cool. Can I bite? Wait, all the way, all the way. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Well, tastes like a normal double egg, but. We're gonna move on to the St. Patrick's Day slime, which Caden really enjoyed. You're gonna need some white school glue, glitter of your preference. I thought green and gold were quite St. Patrick's appropriate. Green food coloring and some borax. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna put one half a cup of water in here. Can you do that? Oh, mama help you. And then we're going to put a half a cup of Elmer's white glue. Okay, pour that in. Oh, yucky. And then we're just going to mix this together. Put it, oh, I think we got it all. And at this point, that's when you're going to add your green food coloring. And I'm actually going to add the glitter at this point too. Okay, so we'll add some glitter so we can make it sparkly. You ready? Okay, Chip, out of here, please. So I'm adding some green and should we do some gold too? Because leprechauns like gold. So in our other container, I have one cup of warm water and to this we're going to add our borax. Now I know if you live in the States, you have access to liquid starch and there's a lot of recipes out there for this slime recipe with liquid starch, but in Canada, we actually don't have liquid starch. So we are going to use borax 
and mix this with water to kind of get, I guess, a similar solution. That's what I saw for the recipe. So to the water, we're going to add one teaspoon of borax and mix this in until it's completely dissolved, which is why I wanted to use warm water. Yeah, add it into the water, pour it in. Good job. And let me more. No, that's enough. And mom's just gonna use this, because we're gonna use this. And we just gotta stir this until it's all mixed in. So now that we've mixed this in, we're going to slowly add our glue mixture to the borax. Just a little bit at a time, Kaden. Whoa, wanna keep going? Just a little bit at a time, because we wanna make sure it all mixes. Look, let's make sure we get all of it out and all of the glitter. Okay, so now we're just gonna keep stirring it, and then it says once it's kind of started to set, we're gonna go in with our hands and mix it all up. So I find like there's a lot of water in this recipe that I found online, so I'm actually gonna put it in the glue container and mix it that way. So we're gonna leave this over here. So now that we've got enough to kind of make it into a slime. Whoa, this is so cool. And now we've got our St. Patrick's Day slime. How cool is that? Do you wanna see it? Let's yeah. feel it, you can play with it. <gasps> kind of reminds me of like Flubber. That is so cool. Lift it all the way up. Wow, is that pretty cool? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. So now if you just want to listen to the beautiful ladies that I did this collab with, they'll share quickly with you what they're going to be doing for their video. Everyone, my name is Kasha from Mama Kasha and today I'm going to be doing a St. Patty's Day Get Ready. Hey guys, I'm Erin from Erin and Baby and over on my channel we're going to be making this super cute leprechaun mask, a little shamrock stamper thing, I don't really know what to call it, and some super easy Lucky Charms Rice Krispie Treats. Come check our video, bye! My name is Haley from Hale and Baby and this is Bella. If you come over to our channel, which is linked down below, we're going to show you how to make this St. Patrick's Day rainbow craft. And also some puppy chow. Love yes, my name is Bonnie and my channel is Miss Bonnie Harris and I will be showing you how to make these easy, adorable St. Patrick's Day cupcakes. Perfect to send to daycare or school. Hey guys, it's Chan and Fan. Today uh, we're going to show you guys how to make... And... So that is all for this video. Make sure you check everybody else in this collab's video out because there's a lot of different things and they all did such an awesome job. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Can you show them how to give a thumbs up? Thumbs up. That way we know and we'll continue to do videos like this in the future. Other than that, we love you. Can you say to the moon? And back. And back. And we will see you. And we in our next video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.